Welcome back, my YouTube fam. Well, I, this is um, the ending of the life makeover for Are You a Sleeping Beauty? They gave us some um, examples of things that we can do to get a good night's sleep um, for our life makeover. And we were supposed to choose one and write in our journal and, you know, go ahead on and tackle it. So I did tackle it. And the one that I chose was my bedroom. When I went in my bedroom, it was, I didn't even sleep in my bedroom. And I tell you no lie. I slept on the couch for months. That's what my sleeping place would be. A sheet, um, a pillow, um, a cover, and I just slept there. I did would not sleep in my bedroom and this has been going on for months and months. I think I only slept in my bedroom. I've been living here for about a year in September, I don't know, November, December, January. A year and three months. And I only slept in my bedroom probably, and this is no lie, probably once or twice. That's it. My bedroom felt so cold. It was a bed with no headboard. Um, it was nothing on the walls. It was just a blah, blah, blah. So my guest bedroom looked better than mine. And I barely even slept in my guest bedroom because it was a guest bedroom. I just didn't, you know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to explain it. But after reading that, I went on and made... Um, my decision is to I'll get a better sleep. I don't care how off how um what time I went to bed. I don't care if I went to bed at six p.m. Woke up the next day at six a.m. I wouldn't have a good night's sleep on the couch. So even though I didn't do that, but I'm just saying in general. So I said the best way for me to get a good night's sleep would to be um was to sleep in my bed. In my own room making my sanctuary so I am going to show you I did revamp it um, what I did I took the headboard at the guest bedroom and put it in my room until I get money to buy another headboard for my guest bedroom with it you know but I just had cuz I it's just I feel funny sleeping in a bed with no headboard I don't know, like I'm going to fall through or I just can't get a good night's sleep. Mm. Um, but I'm going to show you a before and I'm going to show you an after. Um, on my before picture, I had to already move the headboard in the bedroom. I'm like, what am I thinking? I was supposed to video it how it looked before I did this. So excuse the headboard. Imagine it without the headboard before um, but then I'll sh then it's going to be an after. So here's the before. My family and friends cleaning up my messy bedroom. I did some switcheroos in my house. Um, I wanted me a headboard because I don't like to sleep in the bed without a headboard. So... Just waiting, waiting, never could, you know, since I've been here going on a year and something, have not gotten a headboard for the master bedroom. So here I am. I'm just, I took the headboard out of the guest room because I'm like, hey, I got to feel comfortable. I got to sleep because it's like I can't sleep well without a headboard. So I took the side tables out of there because I couldn't afford to get no side tables out of the guest right room so this is just a little bit of it um i'm gonna come back with the full thing of how it looks that dress that my dad gave me um it's just a mess in here this came from this was one of my side tables before i had got that side table it's just a mess in here and i got to get it together uh, let me take you down. Look here. I had um took the guest bedroom bathroom messy too. No, I ain't that messy. But I just need to <laughs> deep clean. I ain't gonna show y'all my ceiling fan. 
I'm scared to. Yeah, I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. Do it for the vibe. I ain't gonna do it. Do it for the vibe. I ain't gonna do it. Do it for the vibe. I ain't gonna do it. I showed you real quick. <laughs> All right, then. I see you um a little later on in this video. So don't click off. <laughs> a hot mess, huh? Mm. So, and it was worse than that. I just couldn't let y'all see it in a worse state. I said I got to pick up a little something here or there. Just unsleepable. Um, and I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed this life makeover. I'm going to end this with showing you the after. So, love you all. Please remember to keep all your trust in the Lord no matter how it looks. Keep believing. Keep on believing. I'm telling you. Oh, it gets hard. Even, you know, there's Ace. Hey, and I guess the final things are. Okay, he come on, let me show him. It's um it's an old shirt. My son he sells sure he has his own shirt company. So um I wanna make one. His business is named Stevano K. I so. wanna make one. Stevano, yes, yeah, Stevano K. So and that's my mama needs to make one of his one first too. shirts. I'm gonna make one. Okay. And my mom goes. Okay. Too. So okay, we're going to the after, and I have been having a great night sleeping this after. And you will not see me again in this video, but I am going to tell you where I got certain things from. You'll hear my voice. So see ya. Enjoy. And I've been getting a great night's sleep. <laughs> and here's the after. I'm not a professional photographer or video. But it's not all the way done. But I just wanted to show you. Uh. And then I have my TV here. So I'm going to tell you the things that I need to get done. And I'm going to try to give you a view. Uh, this is... Huh? Yeah. This is... Okay, so let me start off showing you... Hold on. I'm going back out so you can see the rug on my floor. All right. So let me go ahead on and start showing you what is what. Let's cut on the lights. Let's see if it'll make a difference. Not really a difference. Let me. This is my view from my bedroom window. Isn't that beautiful? Think about when it's um late at night. So I'm going to close the blinds. But before I close the blinds. I have this here, this little mirror sit there that looks like the sun. So, um, let me see if I can make it a little darker in here. All right, not that much darker, but there we go. Not that much darker, but anyway, anywho's, let's get started. Over here, um, I have two lamps. These two lamps I've had for about three years. For about three or four years, I had got them from TJ Maxx, I believe. And I believe they were together. I believe it was $40 together. Um, the mirrors. Hi. The mirrors. They were not like this with the bling on there. I put the bling on the mirrors. Um, and the mirrors were um, from the Goodwill. And they were $10 together. Together it was brown. I went to the store and bought the bling. And I hot glued the bling on both of them. And I had these mirrors for about three years. So, yeah, I see what difference a hot glue and bling would make. All right. So um, these boxes, I had got those boxes from a garage sale years ago for about, I think, a dollar. And then I had one over there as well. Right here. And this is a little bigger. 
but um as well this was a dollar and it just made the lamps the same height they're both the same height one just bigger than the other but it looks great this candle is um i purchased this it's a yankee candle smell like cookies i purchased that from the goodwill the thrift store for a dollar <laughs> and been burning it oh it smells so good this um side table this headboard which on this headboard it says love l-o-v and the e is over there behind the other pillow and it has this as well um two side table a friend of mine's made this for me when i lived in orlando and these are the items that i had in my guest bedroom and um yeah and all together i only paid less than a hundred for it she's great she's great yes the drawers do open up they open up this V-Day, no, I don't believe in holidays, but I got it because it made me think of Victory Day. Um, so, and I like the bling in it. So when I look at it, I think about, okay, this is a Victory Day. Every day with Jesus is victory, you know? There's my Life Makeover um, book. Let's see. I think that's it. Then we have baskets up, on, up under there on both sides. And this is a box with my little hair supplies in it as well um the two pillows that say paris the gold with eiffel tower um i got those from i think walmart i believe walmart uh, about a year ago for i think it was for about seven dollars a piece i believe this bedding set that came with the comforter. This is a queen size bed. The pillow sham and these two pillows. Two pillow shams and this comforter. I got it from TJ Maxx. For $40. And um. I got the king size. This is a queen bed but I got the king size. Because I wanted to hang. Wanted, to, wanted it to hang. Okay. This rug. Which I see a penny on the ground this rug i purchased from tj maxx for 40 40 was it for 39.99 something like that but it came up with tax it came up to like 42 dollars so yeah i wanted something this is like a gray and it got the silver lee glittery silver in it the light is not doing it any justice all right, so I have this here. I was looking for a corner chair to relax, to sit back, rewind. So I got this chair from the thrift store with the ottoman, $15. What? Yes. You might say, oh, those two don't match. But let me move this penny. But it looks good together. Yeah, I know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it match. I'm thinking about taking this bed spread and put it in my guest room and get me something with that will match that. I was thinking about getting all white and I really want that. So, yeah, I'm thinking about taking this, put this in my guest bedroom, this comforter, the shams and two pillows and get an all white outfit on my bed in here. Bingo. All right. So the mirrors here. I got these mirrors. I had, these are my closet doors and they just look too blank. So I got these mirrors and I got those from Walmart and I believe they're $4.88 or $5.88 um, a piece at Walmart, right? So this TV here, which my son, he gave it to me. One of my sons, it's a 32 inch. I didn't even have this in there. Um, he gave me this, so um, I have that. This stand, I found the stand. I'm ugly feet. I found this stand by um, the trash can about two years ago, almost, well, about two years ago, by the dumpster. So it's a glass stand all the way around. So I got it here. Right here, this stand will come out because I want a dresser. I want a glass dresser, and it's, 
it's only going to be a certain amount of width and I want it tall and I want it to have drawers in it so I can make that my lingerie. You might want to know where is my dresser? My dresser is in this part of the closet. When I open it, it's a dresser in there. I have clothes on this side and I also have the rest of my clothes is in the, in the dresser in the closet in my guest bedroom pushed all the way to the back because my guest bedroom closet is much bigger than mine. Okay. Um, I have these curtains that I, that I made sure I hung them to the ceiling to make my ceiling look longer. My room look bigger. I had purchased these curtains from Tuesday morning and I purchased them, if I'm not mistaken, for both of them. I think it was like $7. It was on clearance. And I got them about two years ago. Mm, yeah, buddy. So, uh-huh. That's what I do. And this right here that I showed you all earlier, I purchased this from the Goodwill. And I believe I paid like 2 or $3 from the Goodwill with that. So, this is my bedroom i hope you enjoyed the tour behind me is the door and on my door i have um my nightgown hanging my nightcap um my towel so that's all that is behind there i don't really want to show you that and these cords right here i'm not really worried about it because when i get the dresser bam it's gonna look you know it doesn't bother me and it's right behind the door, so it's really nothing I can put there. But I'm not even worried about them yet. Yes, I am, not since I see it. So I can put a nice vase there with a, with a flower. I guess. Oh, well, anyway, this is my sanctuary sleeping beauty. So you know when I go to band, I am feeling good. <laughs> I sleep well. Another thing is that wall right here? I'm going to get a picture there. I haven't found a picture that I really like. And I'm not going to purchase it brand new. So I wait until I find one at the garage sale or the thrift store. Up here, I'm going to get a round object to break up all the squareness. So I want a round object here. Probably a clock, but not too heavy of a clock hanging over my head. But not too heavy. So I know I'll make know for sure that it's on that wall and it's not really going it's not going to fall. And then over here I have a blank wall which I am going to get um a nice picture to go there or mirror. So I don't know right now is whatever I find at the yard sale or the thrift store cheap cheap cheap, but I just want to show you the before and the after what a difference it makes. This is my sanctuary. Even Ace be trying to bring his behind up in here. You see that I cut off the lights and it's time to remove ourselves. I hope you, hope you, I pray that you enjoyed this video of my sleeping beauty room. And I've been sleeping well. And so have Ace climbing into bed with me. So it's time to say goodbye. So I love you all. See you on the next video. Bye.